Now that you've activated and accepted the CAD admin role for your tenant, let's take a look at how to invite other users and assign roles. The first time you log into the 3D Experience platform, you're likely going to see the welcome screen. You can take a look around at the welcome screen, and when you're ready, go ahead and close that welcome screen in the top right. In order to manage the members, you're going to want to make sure that you're on the platform management dashboard. And an easy way to get there is to go up to the list button in the top left, where you'll see a list of all of the cockpits or dashboards that you have access to. Go ahead and click on platform management, and then you can close that window on the left. On the platform management window, you're going to see a summary of your platform, and at the top, you should see a members tab. Go ahead and click on the Members tab where you'll see a list of all the members that belong to your tenant as well as all the roles that are available to assign to these members. You can click on the Invite Members button to invite a new member. And when the window opens, simply enter that new user's email address. The User Rights dropdown provides three options to either invite a member from your organization, invite another administrator, or invite a user who's external to your organization like a customer or a vendor. Now you won't have to assign a role to an external user, they'll actually bring along their own licenses, but for members and administrators, we'll actually need to go ahead and assign roles to that user. If you'd like to include a personalized message, you could do so, and then hit Next to assign roles. On the roles page, we can see a list of all the roles that our company has access to, and in this case, we'd like to go ahead and assign the Collaborative Designer for SolidWorks role to our new engineer. This will allow him to use his standard desktop application for SOLIDWORKS, but still collaborate and store his files within the 3D Experience platform. We'll hit OK to confirm our choice, and then hit Next to see any additional apps that we might want to include. Now for a desktop SOLIDWORKS user, we will not need to include either the Katia V5 or the SOLIDWORKS add-in. Those are actually for other applications. We'll just go ahead and at this point, click Invite. Once invited, the user will receive an email and from the Members tab, you'll actually be able to see that pending invitation until it's accepted by the user, at which point they'll be able to go ahead and start participating in the platform. I do have one option that I would recommend everyone turn on. And to do this, you're going to go up to Configure Member Options. And the option that I'd like you to enable is the option to automatically ungrant expired roles from members or groups. If one of your roles happens to expire, this will prevent users from trying to access these expired roles and potentially causing some complications. At this point, go ahead and invite the rest of the users from your organization to get everybody involved.